It is now uh, 617. We call Betsy the doctor of weather. No, you don't. Well, we, we can start calling you that. Please don't. All right, how's that? <laughs> Please don't. He doesn't like Chief it. Chief doctor of weather, how's oh, that? Oh, believe me, there's other nicknames that people use. <laughs> and it's not as complimentary, but yeah, no, please, just, just Betsy's great. Temperatures are in the 60s as we head through the night tonight, yeah. 60s overnight, very mild conditions. We're going to continue to pump in the heat from the south. And what a difference a day can make, everybody. Heck, what a difference the past 20 hours can make. We were down flirting with freezing this morning and last night. And look at the jump in the temperatures. Behold the warm front, the front of the warmer air. You knew when it came by. If you were out early this morning for the commute, there were a lot of grumbly people. They were not very happy. But boy, things have changed. And we are now anywhere from 25 to 35 degrees warmer right now than where we were 24 hours ago. So where does that leave us? Well, the changes are still happening. We have a lot of wind that is coming our way tonight and through the day tomorrow. We're already getting wind gusts over 25 miles per hour from time to time. Later tonight into tomorrow, we will have wind gusts over 45 miles per hour. So we're really going to start to crank things up. That wind advisory that was issued goes until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Temperatures are just ever so slightly starting to come down just a little bit. 69 now in Worcester, 76 in tropical Dover. We're still sitting in the mid 60s, Ashtabula and Youngstown, but I really think your temperatures are going to hold absolutely steady as we head through the night tonight. You can easily see where the warm front is. We go from the yellows to the greens. That warm front continues to push northward, and that's going to keep all of the wintry side of this part of the storm system out of here, at least for now, because we do have the cold front that is still to come. Mm. Where there's a warm front, usually the cold front isn't too far behind. And that cold front is responsible for firing up some pretty potent thunderstorms this evening across the deep south. Meanwhile, on the northern side of the storm system, that's where all the cold air is, the wintry weather. We have not had to deal with any of that, at least as of yet. We'll kind of get the cold air swinging around on the back side of this. But the real big energy with all of this is south of us and north of us. So it's a bit of a split. And so we're going to ride the middle of this and just get some scattered showers in here and a whole lot of wind. Here's your national design, our hour by hour forecast. Temperatures still in the 60s with that southerly wind starting to pick up speed by midnight. In the early morning, scattered showers start to enter into the picture. Our winds are really going to be gusty in the earlier part of the day rather than later. We're talking wind gusts over 45 miles per hour period periodically through the morning. So it's another day we're going to have to pay attention driving on the bridges, maybe set an alarm on a bad battery backup device on your phone. If you have a plug in alarm clock, it may not make it through the night if you get some power flashes and whatnot. So that could be an issue. But notice the morning temperatures are still in the 60s. The cold front goes through and we will have a pretty sharp temperature change as we get into the afternoon. Still very gusty winds, but early afternoon temperatures fade into the 50s. We will be down into the 40s by this time tomorrow. So what a whiplash we have coming our way. And it really doesn't look like we have a huge big push of frigid air coming in. Thankfully, it's going to be kind of a quick hit that'll nudge us back toward more uh, average for this time of the year. So your union home mortgage forecast, there's our 60s, c'est la vie, great to see you, but we'll be back into the 40s for Friday with a rain-snow mix. The weekend does not look too bad for us right now. 50 with clouds increasing Saturday, little rain chance on Sunday with highs near 50.